Uh, remember, there was some information about uh, uh, Madam Ibrahim Shakarao, uh, former governor of Kano State and former minister for education some time ago. But now we do have him on the line to share some light on all of those news that made the round at the time. Good morning, Mr. Shakarao. Can you hear us? Hello, good morning, Mr. Chabli. How are you? Well, fine, thank you. So, yeah. um, we, could you tell us right away, what is going on? Are you now a member of the APC? Are you still in PDP? What's happening? Well, the truth of the matter was that when the, the campaigns from APC come back to PDP, uh, including former governor of Kano Konkoso, the PDP leadership set up a committee, a technical committee to negotiate with them. And the last part of the negotiation was to give them a portion of the structure of the state. Specifically for Kano, the party said the structure of the party that the entire leadership at all levels, Konkoso should be given 51% and we remain with 49%. And our argument has been, what exactly informed the decision to give Governor Rabi Musa Konkoso 51%? And in any case, the structure of the party is composed of elected officers for four years as per the constitution of the PDP. And they are only two years into office now. They are due for re election in 2020. And we argued that, that the constitution of the party does not permit anybody to move unless for reasons provided by the Constitution. And this has been our argument. We went as far as recommending that we can share the oncoming uh, election of delegates at what level, which is 33 per ward. So this we can share before Concourse of team, two groups are existing in TDP in Canada. The old PDT and the old NPT. I will say we formed the third group. This has been the argument. We gave this our position in writing. We said it's unconstitutional. It's against the constitution of the party. While this argument was on, without any headway, the chairman of the party, national chairman, Prince Collins, directed the dissolution of the structure of the party in Kano State. And some concerned members of the ESCO went to court. There was a court injunction not to take any further action. But they still went ahead to constitute a seven-member technical committee for Kano. And five out of the seven members are disciples and known people of Governor Adi Musa Konkoso in the Konkosia organization. So our argument has been the devolution of the structure is illegal, is unconstitutional, and is being challenged in court. And the chairman still went ahead and constituted a caretaker committee. We said we have no business with that. We will not take this, and this has been the argument. And our stand is, unless the structure of the leadership is reinstated, we would have nothing to do with the new caretaker committee and we will not listen to any other thing. So does that mean that in the meantime, you are still a member of the PDP on certain conditions? Yes, certainly, certainly. That's our condition. Okay. All right, then. Thank you very much for talking to us this thank morning. You. Thank you. Thank you. All thank right. So there you have it, uh, my name is Baron Shekara, former governor of Kano State and former minister of education, telling us, well, at the moment, um, he's still a member, but... If certain things are not done, you may just find him take the next action. We don't know what that next action will be.